boys inside. That's so funny. Shit. <laughs> Good morning, lovely people. It is Wednesday, the 17th. April is flying by, you know. It's 17th of April, 2024. Goddamn. I know, it's crazy. Um, welcome to TDA, the day after, your favorite news platform and the home of popular culture as defined by the culture. And we'll, we'll look, it's English. We'll go ahead and introduce ourselves. It's your boy, six foot plus of pure temptation, big march from the east side of the bridge. Good morning, people. As always, your favorite shade queen, my own royalty. Good morning, people. Yes. Good morning, Brent. I am here, but not for long. Um, <laughs> God forbid. How are, you, how are you, Esther? God forbid. Missed you yesterday. I missed you guys too yesterday. Yeah. I was up in in um, Brum doing things. Mm. Did you watch the show? No, so I only caught the first 10 minutes. Oh, so you never saw what they were saying about you in the chat? No, what are they saying? Oh boy. And she never heard what right. you were saying. Yeah. What were you saying? You were saying a whole set of stuff. The same amount of what? stuff that they were saying. He's, li- he's lying. <laughs> he's lying. Is this about J. Cole? No, you know, I don't know why I done that. I was lying initially, yeah, but he doubled down on the lie. He's That's lying. <laughs> so he said. That's the easiest way to basically let him walk back what he said about you. Uh, <laughs> they ain't going to be talking about you when it's you. Yeah, but you know they what? Wait till you're here. I'll be honest with you, yeah. That's the least of my problems, man. Like, yeah, that. I've been some things. I've been some things in the last twenty four hours. That's the, that's the least. I'm hungry as heck. I'm so hungry, like I'm so I'm starving. I resonate with that. That was I was hungry. I've been hungry nearly close to tears you know, like, <laughs> last week. Like it's and it's. I'm so hungry. It was like full hunger as well. It wasn't even real. Mine is for real, for real. I haven't eaten since. Yeah, but if you eat, Monday you'll be all right. Innit? Afternoon. You, if you eat, you'll be all right. Innit? I don't know. I'm scared. See, I was eating and still feeling the same. But I'm actually scared though. I haven't even drank water. This tea, I've had a sip of the tea. It's the first, um, what's it called, fluid I've had. Because I'm scared. Yeah, start with a warm drink. Well, a warm drink is going to make you even more hungry, isn't it? Yeah, probably. But I don't feel like I can get any hungrier. Like, I'm so hungry. I told you, I've got half a sandwich every day. I it. don't want a tuna sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I want, like, if I'm going to eat, I want to eat proper. Like, I want a meal. Uh, I want a pound of jam. That's what I want. <laughs> anyway, but I'm good, though. Um... Yeah, I was up in Brum yesterday. But I had to leave anyway. There's nothing worse than feeling ill and being away from your home. Mm. And then, but being so far away from your home. Yeah. And then there being train delays. So delaying you further from getting, from getting to your home. Yeah, anyway. The, the whole journey just seems treacherous. It was. It really was. It was. But I did catch the... So basically, when I was when I watched it for 10 minutes yesterday, I saw Noreen here. Do you know how funny Noreen is? People in the community are so funny. She goes here... So Esther told us to be here every day of the week. And she's not even here today. I saw that. <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious. I'm here now though. But for real, for real. I told you a lot. Be here. Or be square. Um, also, I saw when I was going through the dock t- this morning, filling up some stuff. I saw there was asking for a friend yesterday. And I thought that was such a good dilemma. What What's your take on it? Everything you guys said. So I wanted to, I had to go back and watch what you guys had said. Yeah. First of all, yeah. In my stomach pains, you know how much I was laughing? When? when Brent goes, so Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to be honest, I don't Do know, you know if it is that he minded me actually Do saying you know his name in the first place. No, it was place. so funny. Because you were like, no, don't say his name. <laughs> <laughs> Not in yeah. Then he just went and shouted it. I said, you know what? Fair. Then he goes, anyway, Dwayne. <laughs> 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 Big up Dwayne there, but I was gonna say I think everything you guys said is is spot on. Um, I think that because you know what is he just hasn't met the woman for him. Mm. You just haven't met the black woman for you. Do you get what I mean? And that's I think people have a lot more people have that story than people share. I haven't met the black man for me, and he's young, you know. And he's young, twenty three, baby. You're a baby, but you will because when you're looking, you're looking for black it, men, isn't it? Because I'm only looking for black men, so yeah, I would, well. I definitely will. So I think it. It is just that. It's exactly that where you haven't, you just haven't met the the girl, and then you will. But then also there is something to consider about the kind of woman that you go for. You not being their type, but why you might not be their type, but there's a type for you. That makes sense. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So there is that to also consider. And if he waits a while, those same ones. Yeah. Yeah, they will come in the market because absolutely they'll be tired of getting dragged up. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, freaking lutely. Like his basketball friends. Absolutely, and that's the thing. As 
really when you, when you really think about it, that's really what it comes down to. I still need to see what he looks like. Because no, that even, would be even after the waiting, he's still going to have wet. It takes. Yeah. But you know what? He's still going to have wet. Takes. Yeah, yeah, I need to know what he looks like. Do you know what it is sometimes? Though? Sometimes there's a pot for every lid out there. Or a lid for every that's pot, the thing. Sorry. But sometimes you're, some, you're using the wrong lid. Sometimes you're the pot and you're you, you intentionally trying to use the wrong lid, and the lid is saying, "Hey, hey, no." Mm. So there is there is that. I hope he's not chasing them fast and loose girls. This is what I'm saying as well because if you're not giving fast, if you're giving like settle down energy, they're not. You're not gonna appeal to them. Stay away from them. You're not okay. You're not the gonna fast and loose girls. Stay away from them. You're not gonna appeal to them. Do you get what I mean? Because I think also as well, the kind of people that we kind of see publicly, we assume that those are the typical guys that are. Like, I don't like guys like that. I don't like the guys that are like, I don't like, you know when people think of a black guy? Mm. That's not my type in a black guy. I like the quiet guys. I like the... Wait there, we need to unpack this. What do you mean? When people think of a black guy, so we thought we went somewhere straight away and you said, that's not my type. Where did you go? I don't know, just because I know loads of black men, so I don't know. I think of like the podcasters, oh, making a oh. scene, the ones that are oh, always yeah. outside. Those are not my type. Okay, don't put the camera on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why, why did you pause? You're a podcaster, you're always outside. <laughs> you know, you're in that type, right? Huh? You're in that pot. Am I? You're yes. Like you're like one of those crabs in that pot, my friend. You are. What, the podcaster guy? <laughs> the outside guy, the making a scene. Is they're called the desirables. The desirables, yeah. Mm. No, they're How? not called they're the trying desirables. To, they're campaigning to get rid of those guys. Yeah, no, they're not campaigning. No, they're campaigning to get rid of podcasters. Not just podcasters. But when it gets called up, to be fair, they won't put. They won't really put you on there, on account of TDA. No <laughs> behavior, maybe. Yeah, you, <laughs> TDA. You got, you got a big blay because <laughs> you're broadcasting. Well, can you imagine? Sense. You really do, you know. Yeah. Because I got range. God so. really favored you. I got range. <laughs> yeah, I got range. Okay. So they come in here. No, no, no. They tune in and they hear you talking about cheating and social construct. Yeah. Then they're like, ah, see? Yeah. See? It's all in there. Yeah. But no, yeah, so... Glitches sometimes. Yeah, it does, definitely. So yeah, there's certain typical black guys. Mm -hmm. You are them and they're you. 100%. And yeah, so those are not the guys I go for. So everyone just has their own... Dwee's in the chat. No way. Big up Dwayne. Dwayne. Big up Dwayne. Yeah, yeah. They were saying Dwayne, but it's just Dwayne. But also, it wasn't nice that you said, you know, do you feel like you're always going to be ugly? Da, da, da. Like, you, nah, you ain't got to do all that. Who's going to be ugly? In the in the comment, he said that. In his um dilemma. Oh, he did say I baited him up. Look, you know he put his foot on last name. Leave me your name there. <laughs> last <laughs> name. Yeah, he's trying to get them Facebook followers. He knows what he's doing. He's not Facebook. He do you know what's killing me there? Do you know what's killing me? He didn't have to be in the chat to say it was him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hel we could have had Hella Dwayne's. Yeah. Let me see what you, if I can find him in Facebook or Instagram. Don't do that. Well, well actually, I'm not going to put it up. Yeah, let's say yeah. Do I it. want to see what he looks like. So I, was like I was never, I was never um, subscribing to what Mugs was saying. Yeah, yeah, Mugs was wild. Why? When you said, when Brent said, I want to know what you look like. It's on the private. Into, you were like, oh, piece. I will put it up on here, and, and, I'm, and you were like, oh, one of the girls. I'm thinking, first of all, don't be promising shit. We'll put it in the Discord. Because these guys are, look, I've seen when we get a certain guest up, these guys are looking, man, these guys are starving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do the girls like that. I said they're starving, so you're dying for it. You're gagging for it. <laughs> fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. No, I'm just saying, obviously. They were actually, um, quote unquote, starving over handsome men. Don't go on like it's just just any. Yeah, but he could be. We don't know yet. I'm saying, isn't it? Yeah, Potentially, yeah, isn't it? Now, because when the vagina guy was here, sorry, my headache. <laughs> the vagina guy. No one wanted the vagina man, didn't it? What was it? No. It's face squat. No. It was talking about a guy. Yeah. The squatting guy. I said squid up. <laughs> it was. Yeah. He squid up. I think people are just too busy learning <laughs> 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 to be like, oh, you know, he's an avid um, viewer. Big, big up him. Big up him. It's too late. Habib. Why? It's never too late. No, to what Esther just said. What did I say? You just said he was clapped. I did not say that. Oh, I thought he was intimating that. Never mind. No, no, no. That was what I was saying. May I process things differently in my head? No, no, no. Because was no. Because you were to. We we're on the subject of the women. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second, y'all. I'm not feeling great. When the topic of women, the women thirsting, mm. right? And I was saying, if anything, if they were really, really thirsty, they had someone here showing them how great a vagina works. Mm. But obviously they were too busy learning to be dying for it in that sense. Do you get what I mean? Mm. 
Yeah, I can't find his his thing, so. Uh, big up to it. Ew, no, did he? Christy said I'm in the wolf pack. I need to beat these charges. I need to change my image. I don't know if you will. I, 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 don't I, don't know. will. I think it's I don't, done. I don't know if he's in the wolf pack. I think he is. No, he's in the warlord pack. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> he's different. What was um, Simba's uncle's name? Scar. Scar. Scar, you're Scar. I wouldn't mm. do that to... They might. Yeah, you don't need to throw kids off the cliff and stuff, but <laughs> you're, you're Scar. The, the wolf. So, I think certain guys will never beat the charges. And I think that you have to get to a point in life where you make peace with the fact that your partner knows who you are and that's what matters. But that's not who I am. That's what kills, that's what kind of throws people off because anybody spends time with me, that's not... And that's, that's the thing. That's not what they get. But you got, so you got to make your peace with that because publicly you will never beat the charges. Yeah, but I don't care about what people think. Exactly. And that's fine. And people who know me love me, so... But there's cool. people that do care and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing to be done. Like, you're... They know you as a whore. That would, be, that would always be it. Oh, that's cute, though. There's a follow-up. On. Oh, pictures attached. Is it? Oh, yeah. let's see. Do I have to get out? I haven't seen the pictures yet. Oh. And I'll show you just now. Wait a minute. Are you going right. to put it on screen? What, to read the email? Oh, do no, I? Don't, don't, he ain't agreed to, no, he, yeah, he ain't agreed to it yet. You can't put him on the screen. To read the email. Oh, I thought you said there was a picture. He has attached pictures. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so there's a follow-up email. Yes. That's what you should have said. I thought you meant there was follow-up pictures. What did I say? He did say okay. that. But... My bad. All right. My apolo- I apologize. Said that loud. I've been apologizing now. I always apologize. <laughs> <laughs> You're just the one who does it behind the scenes. <laughs> Brent waits for the camera to go off, then he apologizes to me. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks, guys, for your help. Brent, you said you wanted me to be more specific. Cool. Aww. Let me just clarify some things. I am black, fully black. Nice. <laughs> Don't do that. I saw some someone people. Oh, I saw some people, let me just try to correct it in real time. I saw some people in the live chat questioning me. Ha ha ha. I'm from Hackney. So you're clearly you're clearly presenting man. No, 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 no. Is that because you see everybody from Hackney? Is from Hags part of Hackney. My preferred type is dark skinned girls. Okay. Dwayne. They do something to me. Me too, brother. Right, calm down. But like I said, <laughs> no more. With, that's enough. Don't not add this. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> me too, brother. So, so, I got so, that so, from so. the same place as well. It's pissing me off even I, more. I remember when it is. You said that um, you find it icky when it is like people like me really go into how much I love dark skin black women. No, it wasn't people like you. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, I love all black girls from the ones that look like Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my belly. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 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 Wayne, you are so funny. That's, you know. the, that's the title. The ones that look like Mark. Can you imagine? Oh. <laughs> you don't got marks on the floor, oh. child. Oh what? I made you go with that verse. He said he's tired of <laughs> dark skinned black girls and he said Mariah Carey. All right, love. All right, All then. right carry on. The way he's a joker. Let's <laughs> yeah, go. You ain't getting horns for that. <laughs> um, yeah, bye. Who am I? Uh, my people, the ones that look like Mariah Carey to the ones that look like Lapita. Okay. My um, celebrity crushes are Justin Sky, uh, Justine Sky. Lovely. Uh, Janelle Monet. The beautiful. Julia Danuga. Nice. Uh, Jade Cargill. Don't know that is. Oh, at WWE. She's good. Yeah, okay, she's dark skin. She, Mariah Carey. She's dark, way darker than Mariah Carey. She's a brown skin woman. She's, yeah, Jade's buff. <laughs> okay. She's strong. She's strong, but... Not <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> obviously she's an athlete, isn't it? She's got muscles and shit, but... <laughs> she's nice, though. <laughs> all right. Um, and Audrey and Tolly from The Receipts. Oh, beautiful. Even though I don't listen to The Receipts podcast. <laughs> so you just, you just on the Instagram. <laughs> My last two exes were from secondary school till college, uh, year nine to year twelve. dating early, boy. Mm. And from uni, uh, September 2019 mm. to August 2022. Beautiful. So I've been single for coming up to two years. Okay. First one was a half black, half ah. Italian lighty. Okay. And the other was a full black, dark skinned Jamaican woman. Okay. I wouldn't say I'm delusional and I'm going for girls that are or look like Insta baddies, just cute and beyond. Okay. The girls that go Chuckies and Tasers R&B nights are Chef's Kiss. They're elite, all right. 
Mm? They're elite though, right? Well, and, and now there's a mixed bag in there. All right, mixed bag. Cool. There's a mixed bag in R&B. R&B is for everybody. It's not just for pink things. But there's a good standard in R&B though. All right, damn. Mm. Cool. Um, I can find a chick attractive. Need to stop, stop calling them chicks. Uh, no matter what mm-hmm. her skin color is, white, Asian, black, Latino, etc. But I want to choose to be with a black woman. I feel like my thing is not to be superficial, but just for discussion's sake. The black girls that I approach that are a six or seven out of ten and above, and the girls outside my race that I approach that are a six or seven out of ten and above, I get more yeses from outside my race, even though I approach them less. The ratio is probably like I approach black girls 85% of the time and outside my race, 15% of the time. Yeah, but also, sorry, where where is he? Oh, no, he's from Hackney. Because mm. I think if he's in an area where there's majority white girls, mm. that adds to the stats. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, Carrie, sorry. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't indulged in some activities with some woman that Dr. Uma wouldn't be proud of since my last relationship. But I've always known that black is my calling and that is where I want to be. I want and need to get out of the streets. Are you dying for it? At 23, you know. At 23 is wild, you know. It's a man who knows what he wants, man. 100%. I will send my send you my pictures, but if you could not share them on live and maybe just give your honest feedback, I mm-hmm. just don't want my face out there publicly like that. My you fair. can share with Margs, Iman, and Esther, and Gina, but not everyone watching yeah, on YouTube and Spotify and Twitter. I don't like right my face there. out there as well. I see. Right. You know, the wickedest thing, it doesn't even, it literally <laughs> don't even matter what he looks like because I've seen everybody go with, with someone you get me so regardless of what you look like you, that's no excuse for not having nobody yeah you can share okay done that already. Um, and I also don't know if I could show you my picture of my exes because they're my exes and I would need their consent and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't say yes so yeah not if they have an Instagram bro no I don't have Instagram and I'm not entirely comfortable with y'all setting up me but I will consider joining the community when my time is right all right, then. Maybe tomorrow or another day when Esther and Gina is here and you can repeat my dilemma for them and they can help and you can even give them some extra context. I've even given you in this email. Here's the picture. Okay. 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 Is he a short king? No, he doesn't look short. He's 5'9". He looks about 5'9". That's short. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Sorry, right. guys. I'm going to... Don't pause in that picture. I'm going to show you mugs. All right. Let me show you mugs. Yeah, but that's how you're very mean for that. I'm, what are you talking about? Why are you, I've why seen, are you stopped on this one? I've seen enough to know that he is... He's a catch. Let me see. <clears throat> There's that one. Okay. You go come out that one. Yeah, in that picture. That's what that one built. Like. <laughs> he looks happy though, man. He's a happy guy. Happy black guy. Yeah, you should be all right, man. You should be cool. I reckon if you, um, I reckon a few ladies in the community would would, would take you up on date night. He said he doesn't want you doing all of that. I will say though, um, who was it yesterday that said someone said something like, um, the black girls might not know you like black guys. Black black guys, black girls may not know you like black girls. Yeah, he does look like he likes. He's like he likes white girls. So I reckon that's probably why the black girls don't think you like them. And I don't know what anyone can do about that. No, that's not the problem. It's not his problem. His problem isn't that the black girls don't think he likes them. The ones that he wants don't want him. Oh. But don't you think did that's... You, did you not hear the type that he likes? What was the type they uh, liked? The, the names that you um, are familiar with. Oh, Lupita and him. Oh, J- Tully, J- Audrey. J- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can get Lupita. Okay, so... T- yeah, definitely. <coughs> you can get Lupita. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> you said it. Not I, the way just, you I said bounced it. back off... <laughs> I just bounced off what you said. All right. Big up Lupita every flipping time. She's a gorgeous woman. But she has a mixed mixed likes. Mm. 
But the rest of those women, they want a particular type of black. Yeah, woman. so maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. So I honestly just, I, I honestly just think you just haven't met the black girl for you. That's really it. I think yeah. Based See, on what you're saying, those black girls might want. Based on the examples you've given us, those black girls would want certain other types of black guys. But I don't think that you can't get the black girl that you still want. It's just about. It's about in, common interests and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So if but you're not you, ugly, by the way. Don't ever put that. You're not ugly. Don't do that. Did he say he was ugly? Yes, in the dilemma. He said, oh, should I just accept that I'm ugly or something like that? And that, oh. really, that was really sad for me. Oh. It wasn't nice. He's definitely not ugly. At all. So, oh, my train of thought. Bottom, 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 bottom. Bottom, bottom. Oh, you ever skipped me. All right. So, based on the examples of the girls that he likes. Yeah. Right? He can definitely get a few of those yeah. with different mindsets. Yeah. Definitely. 100%. And even better looking a few of those. Yeah, hundred percent. That have different mindsets. Hundred percent. That so it's, it really is just about you mean a woman that <clears throat> is yeah, has the same mindset as you. Where is he looking for them? I don't if it's if that's the thing that if he's if you're go if it's at these basketball parties, your basketball <laughs> player friends. I'm sorry, if I was at a basketball party, I'm not there for a husband. Yeah. And you don't know I like sensible men. Yeah. But if I'm there, yeah. I'm there for a good time. And if he's going there with his brethren, exactly. He's not gonna be seen. Nah, because you you're like you're because you, No, because you'll be the nice guy. Like you're the nice Especially if you're you're happy a lot. Exactly, and he is. Looks like he's happy a lot. Yes. You're the nice guy. So you're the guy where like, you're like, you'll be like the quiet guy in the group. But when I go out and I see a quiet, the quiet guy in the group is the guy I like. Yeah. Because I know that's the guy that's likely to treat me like, yeah. do you know what I mean? I meant, I'll, I'll be, it will make sense for me. Yeah. But if you're in these spaces yeah. and the women that are there, yeah. chances are the women that are there are there for a good time as well. So you, yeah. they're not really going to, you're not going to meet the woman that you want to settle down with yeah, yeah. in those places. So it's about where you're going. Yeah. Also, but also, he's twenty three. He hasn't finished maturing it in his face, in his no. body, none of that. You get a beard, honey. Mm. Is that always missing? Well, mm. everyone loves a beard. A beard, you never go wrong with a beard. I also think the beard needs to come with a certain confidence, as Emmanuel said. I don't know what his confidence levels are. Yeah. I don't know um, if it when he approaches women and whatnot, if it is that they mm. can feel that assertiveness. Do you voice. know what? Yeah, Iman was right about that as well because. If you feel like you're always been getting rejected by black women, even though you feel like you're confident, because he mentioned that he was confident, yeah. subconsciously, because you feel like you might you're preempting them rejecting you, that might show up. So yeah, yeah. definitely be because confident. If you're asking this particular question, it means that your confidence level aren't set up how it needs to be set up for yeah. the women that you're going for. Is yeah. he supposed to knock you back like that? Because I haven't found my black man yet, but I'm, I ain't running a dilemma about that. I just know I'm just waiting to find him. Yeah. But yeah, and also you can't um, you get confused by the the um, the others that want him and that's and he's doing comparison. But there's more of them. But the white girls or the black yeah, girls? Yeah, the white girls and that. Mm. But there's more of them, and obviously the black man's the prize and that. Yeah, and this is there, so it's mess it's skewing, it's skewing the mm. number. Like you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but you know it's also what you said yesterday when you said that there are black girls that want him. He just don't want them. Mm. There's that to consider as well. Yes, he he wants the. Some of the ones that are desired. Mm. It was a mixed bag in there. It was a mixed bag. It was a very mixed bag. And I don't even know if it is. He said he could like a Lupita. I don't know if it is. He's going after Lupita. That's that's conditioning that you have to change. That you have to. He has to uh, like unlearn things. Hundred <coughs> percent. You know what I'm trying to say? You need to unlearn it too. I don't. I don't. Well, he's think black women well, he's are beautiful. About what he does. Yeah, but I don't think. Like, I think black women are beautiful. I don't judge. Like, I, but I I would collect a Lupita tomorrow. Oh no! So when you say he would pick a Lupita, what do you mean? Not like colorism. No. So what do you mean? Yeah, he said there's a different. <laughs> you make me so sick, you know. There was a variety of women he chose just now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a scale. I didn't say a sliding scale. I didn't say that. Okay. It was a scale. It was a range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And obviously, he's seen all of them primmed and proper, isn't it? Okay. Slapped up. Looking good. Doled up. Next. Okay. He hasn't seen. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me, man. Let me let me stop talking. <laughs> let me stop talking. 
All this discourse. Five nine is short, people. I don't know what you don't want to do. Like it's like loons. This is not my life. <laughs> 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 so I told you, this loons then. It's five six. This uh, is not five nine. Yeah, he's not five nine. <laughs> this is this, this is, is five not, nine. No, this, this is, is not crazy. five nine. Huh? Loons is not five nine. <laughs> What's his name? Pedro, what was it? What's, what's, what's his French name? Who? Loons. Le Pierre? Yeah. <laughs> Pierre. Pierre is not 5'9. Le nine. Pierre. So, <laughs> <laughs> Brent has finished me today, you know. Someone just sent something through. Oh. Um, follow oh, this delivery on Uber Eats. Save on your first order by using my code EatsMelanin341 at checkout. What? Did they give. Imano, this not good. Seven eight zero three is the code. Something from my girl Esther. What is this? Who's that? First of all, it's a discount code. Is it from a guy or a woman? Because if it's from a guy, you should be sending me free food, not no, telling it's a, me it's a guy. But I, I don't know. You can't be sending me code or how to spend my own money. Can you imagine? Where did you do that? At? Chivalry is dead. All the way dead. You should be sending me free food. Anyway, I'm gonna ask you the same question tomorrow. Um, ask you, Dwayne. What question tomorrow? I mean, this same, what does he need to do to basically get a black woman that... Who are you asking? After. Gina. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I said. No Big up, Gina. Gina. Miss you, Yeah, girl. who's taller? Loons or E-man? Loons? Loons. Probably. Yeah, he's about 5'9", then. I'll tell you, Brent. Taller. Brent's a six-foot man. I know, but I'm just trying to I'm trying to understand what metrics. So how tall am I, am I to you? You're like Shorter. you're by what five six or something. So I'm five six. Five 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 six or something. Wait, are you saying that you're as tall as Loons? <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm like five five. Loons is taller than you. Come on, man, don't do that. Yeah, by inch. <laughs> 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 Not three inches <laughs> or four even. <laughs> anyway, big up balloons every single time. I said five nine. Big oh up balloons, man! Anyway, he doesn't need a height. He's big in character. Man. He's funny, you know. Funny men. That's where it's at. Yeah, straight. Anyway, big up Dwayne, man. Dwayne, I like your energy, man. I like Dwayne. You need to stop messing with the white just, girls, though. You honestly it is a fetish thing to be fair for the most part, but no, you will find the right, the right white. Right, um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in slip all over the guy. The right black g- girl. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of time. All right, Spotify comments quickly. Nathan Brown says, Yesterday Brent said Arteta was Arteta is a better manager than Emery. That's the wildest statement we've ever heard on the reaction. That's facts. No, I I read that and I'm like, because I like to, you know, self-reflect or not, right? <laughs> Or what not. Because in the time when I was going back and forth with you, you were doing a lot of different stuff. So it sometimes I I don't have enough time to process or uh, clarify or elaborate on something I may say. Okay. So I had some time to think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Emery has won more, right? He's proven across Europe. Different leagues. Different leagues. Um <clears throat> Artetas just started, mm-hmm. right? What I probably should have said was, right now, I rate him higher than Emery. I wouldn't want Emery in his seat. Okay. That's what I should have said. Okay. Because you can't look to take away what Emery has achieved. And um, Arteta has just started. We don't know what he's going to be like in 10 years' time. I assume that he is going to be collecting trophies Mm. in the next 20 years, 100%. And it may not even be at Arsenal, just at Arsenal, sorry. Because I do believe he's going to um, come true, 100%. Um, And I think I then went on to say, or ask, what team in the top four would he be able to um, take over or sit in, right? Mm. And you'd say, you, you said that he would go... And that's where we got stuck. Yeah, but that's only because Abagathas are there. If, if, if Klopp and if Klopp and thing left, I'm saying he could manage any of them. All right. So, do you see him doing well at Liverpool? 
I could see him doing well anyway. Obviously, it didn't work at no, Arsenal. No, I, I don't like when you do that, where you you don't ask answer my specific question. Okay. But it's it's but my broader answer would answer your question. There's no need to break it down like that. I believe he would do well anyway. I don't no, think he even. No, no, no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Would you take him at United? What of what we got now? Yeah, probably. You think he would do better than Ten Hag? Well, this season he's already doing better than Ten Hag. But you see how you've answered that question based on what you're currently seeing in front of you. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was doing with Tateta. Okay, fair enough. Do you understand? Because you've just said yes, you would take him over Ten Hag. But when Ten Hag came in, you were saying Ten Hag is the best in the league. He's up there with Pep and well, Klopp. No, because Ten Hag, Ten Hag sacrificed a lot to get the job done, and he and it wasn't it wasn't great and it wasn't ideal. But I saw the vision in it. Then we had preseason, so he couldn't play the way he wanted to play because of the personnel and all that kind of stuff. And then we had preseason. Then he bought a, a boarding goalkeeper and he raised the technical level of the squad with the players that he brought in. So I was under the mindset that he was gonna change the way that he's playing to the I to the more Ajax style to, in keeping with what we know. Then the season started and he did change the way we played, but changed it for the worse and changed it in something that we've never seen before. And I'm just confused by it. Then he's came out and said he's never gonna play that way you expect him. So I was not, obviously I can't I can only so it's a bit and switch basically. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So I can only take the information as I get it. So at the time, I felt how I felt. And then now, he I'm not just thinking, he's told me this. He yeah. went on, he went out and said, yeah. I ain't never going to do that. I can't do that. Yeah. So then now, it's different now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. With, with, I don't think Emery can handle big names. Is that what you think? Okay. So when I say what top teams would he be able to um, come into in this league, it's because that's in my head. I don't think... He, he can handle the big names, not the team. The, the names, players. the players. Yeah, I'm, I see that because obviously he does well with 100%. mediocre. Like, and he can raise, and that raise level. their level. Yeah, I'm yeah, with yeah. you. I'm with you. And obviously the first experience with Arsenal with but top pitch, and obviously the stature of the club and stuff. He didn't do well in it. So yeah, yeah, hundred percent top pitch. <laughs> 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 but he did come into a like a mess, and again, it was just too much for him and. Our fan base is very. very That's the thing as well. You just it's horrible. It's so it's a different toxic. experience somewhere. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? You just taking a. You couldn't even. You didn't want to do press conferences. You just taking a piss where he talks and that. That's why I rate Arteta like that because of our fan base. Imagine our majority of our fan base just expect us to just win everything. No, but Arteta's mean. He's got. A, he's a ruthless man. He's got a mean streak in him, and you need that, innit? You know what I'm trying to say? Regardless of how good he is, or whatever, you can see he don't. He don't play. He don't take no shit. You get me? Which is which is good. So. All right, sorry. Back in the boat, Esther. Sorry, right, no reaction this today. <laughs> <laughs> Failure. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, so Nathan, well, you know how they feel about that. Geo says, "Hello, hi. I'm gonna need more on th on those black aliens and the back and the black planet immediately, please and thanks." Why? We should have a topic of day about that. The e man's got to lead that because I don't know about. You it know what? That. That's so funny to me because. Why? I've been talking about aliens. No, but right? isn't it you that was no, talking about this? No, but black aliens and the black planet is different. Emmanuel oh. believes. Because, Mama, I learned yesterday. Why did Emmanuel bring black into everything? I learned yesterday that um, the Honorable Farrakhan. Yeah. He's been preaching about um, aliens. the aliens that are coming back. They're yeah. coming back for the melanated people. I don't want to go. So he's he's saying that aliens are black. <laughs> what do you say they're coming back? It's going to take us. For, to, to happiness. I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go with your people? I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't so, know what they're doing over there. I want to go. <laughs> so now that he's talking about, you mentioned black, oh, black aliens. Now, now everybody, no, well, not everybody. Geo, no one's to <laughs> Everybody, you know. Imagine. <laughs> but um, to be true, the depiction of like the Anunnaki and the man there. Yeah. Eh, yeah. I guess that's where it came from. I honestly saw aliens that I honestly just assumed it was you. Nah, it's Emmanuel. Um. And so I was like, but you ridicule me all the time when I'd be talking about aliens. And he's like, no. Yeah, but because but you know, like Iman, if his minister says it, it's it's it's, fact, it's, yeah, it's facts fair now. Enough, fair enough. So watch him talk about aliens more than you do. Fair enough. It's crazy. All right, into the headlines. Please. Ugh. Oh, actually. It's for my people, my tribe. All right, so our first headline, MPs have backed a plan to ban anyone born after 2009 from buying cigarettes effective, effectively and showing it will become law. The measures championed by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak 
survived despite opposition from several leading Tory figures, including t- including two ex MPs. No, including two ex PMs. Sorry, <laughs> same letters. <laughs> MPPM. All right, the tobacco and vapes bill passed by 383 votes to 67. If they become law, the UK smoking laws will be among the strictest in the world. Tobacco use in the UK's is the UK's single biggest preventable cause of death, killing two thirds of long term users and causing 80,000 deaths every year. Do people know that? Because you know when they put smoking kills, they put it on the box. I think they put it on the boxes. Yeah, but smoking kills means anything. Everything can kill. They need to give them the stats. Two thirds of smokers die. That's mad. Mm. But everyone does it. All right. Well, okay. Well, the bill also aims to make vapes less appealing to children with new restrictions on flavors and packaging. Figures show that one. No more tutti frutti, huh? (laughs) Again? No more tutti frutti. No, none of that. (laughs) None of that. (laughs) The good fishing books. Figures show that one in five children has tried vaping despite it being illegal for under 18s while the number of children using vapes has tripled in the past three years. I saw an interesting take online. Someone said that the government focused so much on um, telling people about smoking that they didn't consider the alternatives to smoking, which is why we've got the vape vape situation we've got today. Mm. Because when I think about in school, it was all about smoking, smoking, smoking cigarettes and stuff. They probably bought vapes in and to... Yep, divert their attention. But I could imagine secondary schools must be vaped out. Oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. With all them fancy flavours? Yeah. Bone cherry smoking the teacher's face. No kid couldn't be vaping in my class. I'll go brazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd lose my mind. <laughs> 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 Imagine, <laughs> you get... As a teacher, I'll get face. sacked. I'll get sacked because <laughs> the way... I'll go crazy. You think you can vape yeah. in my class? No, but even vaping in your class is fine. Imagine <laughs> they blow the smoke in your face. No, no it's not fine. But that's even worse. <laughs> that's worse, man. <laughs> I don't know what you do as a teacher. I'm not vaping in my class. No chance. No way in hell. That's right. All right. And our next um, headline is about Birmingham Airport, which was temporarily suspended. No, which did temporarily suspend all flights after there was believed to be have to have been a security incident on a Lingus plane. It's like a sexual act. West Midlands police <laughs> <laughs> said they were called on Tuesday at about 4 p.m. after a report of a sus- suspicious item on a flight to Belfast. The airport re- reopened at 6 p.m., they added. It was being treated as a false call, and the item is not suspicious. Be a vape. <laughs> um, what else is there? The plane was diverted shortly after takeoff and landed back at Birmingham Airport after about just after t- 4 p.m. All passengers and crew were evacuated, and specialist officers, including the dog unit, searched the plane, West Midlands Police re- have reported. Elingus said the undeclared item on the original flight from Birmingham to Belfast was not a security risk and their teams are working to accommodate impacted passengers. A Birmingham airport spokesperson added the aircraft landed safely and all customers due to travel should make their way to the airport and check in as normal. Several flights at the airport were delayed by more than two hours according to departure updates on the airport's website. And then our last headline is about the French president's wife. So the life of France's first lady, Brigitte Macron, is to be the subject of a new TV series. Production company Goumont said the six-part series entitled Bridget, A Free Woman, would trace the trace the storybook journey of Emmanuel Macron's wife. The series will start with the first meeting of the couple, one of the series writers said. Mrs. Macron first met her, first met her now husband when she was a teacher at his secondary school. You're not learning it for the first time. I remember you talking about it one time. Uh. I don't believe I was in. Okay. This is the same one that they're saying, trying to even say might be a brother now, isn't it? That's what Candice Owens was saying. Right? What, the wife or the man? The wife. Yeah, I definitely wasn't in that day. <laughs> I remember, I, I remember, yeah, I remember I was getting ready in the morning. Um, okay, so the couple ended up marrying in 2000. Let me just run that back. Mrs. Macron first met her now husband when she was a teacher at his secondary school. The couple ended up marrying in 2007 when Mr. Macron was 29 and Mrs. Macron 54. (laughs) Mrs. Macron kept teaching for a time but quit her job in 2015 when her husband began getting involved in politics. He was elected president in 2017. Goumont is one of France's leading TV production companies. It is responsible for the hit TV series Lupin. Have you watched that show? 
No. That is good. It didn't look like it done it for me. I was in someone's house while I was watching it and it wasn't... That's the worst, yeah. Didn't get if this show doesn't get me that way, then I am watching it. Yeah. You up to speed with Shogun? Nah, I'm waiting. How many episodes have they got? Nah. Uh, the last episode is next week. Oh, is it? Yeah, next week, Tuesday. Oh, I can blitz it then. Can I go and have a Shogun day? Getting better, yeah? It's brilliant, man. Mm. Do that. Right, nice. Let's get into what you say in Topic of the Day. Okay. Right. I feel like this is for my tribe. This is the phobias. Oh, you owned it? Yeah, you can do it. Well, what are you saying? <laughs> Don't tell me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, topic of the day? Let's see what Eman's got for us today. Ah, this could be interactive, so I'm going to need a lot of um, input from the chat. Of you yeah. all typing and calling and stuff. He wants to know about a weird, <laughs> a strange world full of a world full of strange phobias. What is the weirdest thing you have a phobia of? I told you the user shamed me for it. There's a, as a Jamaican, there's a joke that I can make, but I don't know if it's appropriate. No, I don't think it is. As a non-Jamaican, <laughs> I think I know what it is, and I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> so, there's just that. I didn't say nothing. I need a few examples of phobias. I don't actually, I don't think I'm like... It's because of spiders. Not if they, only if they're next to me. The average person should be no, like if I'm in my bedroom and there's a big spider on the wall, I couldn't care less, I'll leave it. Okay, fair if much. I turn around and it was on my shoulder, I'll jump, <laughs> I'll kill it or something like that. I don't like insects though, don't, okay, I don't particularly fair. like insects, but I don't, it's not, it's, I don't want to say it's a phobia, like I'm not scared of them, but I don't like insects though. Mm, fair. And again, if they're just there, I'm not really bothered. It's when they're just when, they, when they're close, you know, when they creep yeah. up on you, you're just chilling, minding your own business, and you just saw one, it's like it's too close, yeah, like black up, not black up, yeah. Mm. Okay. Was my food actually ordered? Whose food? Is that my food? (laughs) Sorry, did both of you all order? No. I haven't ordered no food. Did you order? No, but someone sent me a discount code, so I just assumed the person took my word when I said, don't send me discount codes and order me food. Oh, this is Mel. Oh, Mel. I didn't understand when I was reading that, only because the person's picture was a man. Oh, Mel. Oh, so the discount code was from Mel? Yeah. Okay, cool. Big up, Mel. And maybe the the number was also, you know when it's people say, what's the number? The Uber driver's Oh, Uber yeah. Driver. So. What are we, what we eating? Oh, fruit. Oh, she's such a babe. And chicken salad. Oh, oh Mel. Thanks, Mel. That's so cute. Oh, thank you, babe. She's such a babe, Mel. Big up, Mel, every single time. So, are you going to open it? Mel sent us. That's so cute. I love that for us. So what's in there? What's on here? It is. Sorry, I apologize. I actually paused myself. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> the hell? Ooh, I have the sunshine bowl. That's nice. Oh, Mel was such a babe, man. So we've got super fruit salad, fruit salad, mango and banana sunshine bowl, pret coolers, Feeling peachy. Ooh, I love a peach. I love a cooler. And a chef's Italian chicken salad. Okay. It's a chicken salad. Oh, big up mailman. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. This is my love language. Big up mail. That's very, very thoughtful. That's made my day. That's very thoughtful. All right, phobias. Yeah, yeah I like, told you guys my phobia one time. You just got laughed at me. What was it again? Gathered waters. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like beaches, pools, all that kind of crap. I've got to feel because I've drowned before. You don't say that because I didn't die, I didn't drown. I did drown, I sunk. I've also got a fear of, I've got a phobia of um, runny eggs. I love runny eggs. Oh, can't like, do it. So just like dipping my toes into it. Ew. I can have a sandwich with no sauce, just use the yolk from the egg. That's so disgusting. Yeah, respectfully. No, that's a good way. Sunny side up. That's peng. Every oh, time man. I go out and How eggs are the frying their eggs to just dry, just frying no, no, all I the I, I said protein burning out of it. Huh? Burn it if you have to. Nah, it's disgusting. I hate runny eggs. I hate them. Dry I've actually got a phobia. Like it makes me very uncomfortable inside. I hate them. Dry like, when I boil eggs, eggs yeah, it pisses my mum off because I'm just. I, it and can be there for thirty go, minutes. You made the yolk go grey. Well, I ain't complaining if it's grey. <laughs> that's foul. Yeah, that's that. That yeah, that's not. Yeah, I'm not here for that. 
Do you have a phobia, so, Brent? No. You see, like, all the things I don't like, I don't feel them as phobias. Like, they're logical. Like, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, when what I see, like, 10,000 like... rats there, like, no, why the fuck am I going to say like don't that? like. A phobia is a bit different. Phobia right? is different. Irrational. This is what I mean. Of... I've got phobia. All, all the things that make me feel like that, I think it's rational. There's reasons why. I don't have, like, an irrational. Phobia. Yeah, but I'm it's not rational to you, but to the average person, it's irrational. Like, I've got a phobia of animals. I don't play about, like, I, I can't do it. I love animals. Oh, stress me out. And like it, it makes like you it gives it can it it can give you anxiety and stuff. Like it stresses me. Like animals stress me out. I will cross the road. I will I will walk a longer longer way if I have to. Like it, it's a lot. I'm really trying to think. And right, chat also, please um tell us what phobias, what you, phobias guys you got. Um, and I'll check through them and Let we can go through look at them. Phobia. <clears throat> All right. That a phobia is an overwhelming and debilitating fear of an object, place, situation, feeling, or animal. Phobias are more pronounced than fears. They develop when a person has an exaggerated or unrealistic sense of danger about a situation or object. I actually, I don't have a phobia. I actually don't have a phobia. Gathered waters. So, let's mice see. and rats. When you say gathered waters, you mean waters where people are gathering in it? No, you egg. That's people gathering. No, as in like water, like beaches, the seas. That's big waters. Because I can't say water because I like showers. Waters, like pools and bathtubs. No, because I can be in a bathtub. I can be. If a pool is small enough, I can be in it. But if it's like a big pool, if it's the beach, like when I go to the beach, I don't go in water. I wouldn't be anywhere around the sea. I wouldn't go on like a cruise because that's just overwhelming. I don't, I don't do um like water sports and stuff because again, that's just a lot. And that's what you call gathered waters. Yeah, like it's my own term. Though. Bodies of water. Yeah, basically. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Go on. I think uh, my mom used to have a rat. Well, I think she still got it. It's like a rat and mice phobia. So where like if, if he was on the screen, she still come, has it. Come on the TV screen, she'll start screaming. She still has it. Um, she went. You know, Temi, big up Temi. She held a, a woman's appreciation oh. thing the other day. Yeah. And your mother was one of the panelists. Yeah. And there was a a mouse around. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. And there was a scene. <laughs> she must have went brazy. <laughs> no, she will scream the place down in that. Mm. I've seen, even if it's on the TV, like even if it's a cartoon, like Rasta Mouse, yeah. she's going crazy at Rasta Mouse. Ah! Oh, wait a minute. Maybe there wasn't a scene. I I think, don't do auntie like that. I was going crazy at Rasta had, Mouse. I think she had told them that she had this phobia of mice. Mm. And then there was a mouse, but I'm not sure if she saw it. And then they told her there was a mouse. So she's like, huh? Okay, so she's definitely still good. But she's better, she's better now. She could probably, if she saw it on the TV, she probably wouldn't scream down the house. Yeah. Well, I've seen her go crazy. You have to change yeah. the channel or something like that if there's yeah. a rat on there, like bonkers. Yeah, for, yeah. With, for mice. Uh, my mother is a snake. Okay. So I think her association with Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Has it like that, but <laughs> it doesn't matter where she sees it, she will just recoil and say, get away from, get away from, get away from. It's crazy. So my mum loves snakes. She had pet snakes when she was growing up. Is it? Yeah, she's a weirdo. Don't <laughs> know she wants to have a pet snake here. I said, girl, if you don't. Your mother collected snakes. She didn't collect. Well, she had pet snakes. Yeah. Pet she actually she loves snakes? snakes. Yeah. People do that. Why are you looking at me like that? Those creatures that wiggle on their belly. What, the snakes? Bible, the Bible talks about. Yeah. She was just collecting them. <coughs> First of all, she wasn't a snake collector. Mm. She just had Most pet second. snakes. Cindy says she cannot stand dots. What's dots? Dots, oh, it's like when, you know when it's like little dots all together? There's a name for that. There's a name for that. Um, or like things like, no, like holes is circle, different. Circles. No, there's, you know, like say you look at something, it's got like multiple little dots, like kind of like this. But well, not like that, really. Polka dots. Maybe. How do you have a phobia of dots? What is that? What is it? Like, where There's do you, one. Where There's... do you bark dots? Like, what's it? A... Anyway. Okay, that's a good well, one. Well, let's read out some of the ones. The, All right, the... it's called trypophobia. It's a fear yeah. of holes, typically characterized by an aversion towards clusters of small holes. It is a specific phobia, a condition characterized by a persistent and excessive fear of an object. Okay. All right, so some of the ones that are on here. Ugh. Look. Yeah, see? <laughs> because they will show you pictures of things with holes in it. 
I'm not gonna show it to you, everybody. No, show it. Actually, no, 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 because you got no. Fabia. Who? The girl Please, who got, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There, was a, there was one time, I think it was Sanex, they had this advert where it was like little bodies and they would zoom into it and it would come out of there and it was just like little holes. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have a Fabia, so I found it very satisfying to watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would get lost in it, but yeah. yeah. Some of the ones we've got on here, Pogonophobia, which is the fear of, of beards. Oof, that's a hard day, man. A fear of beards? Yeah, of beards. I can be scared of beards. I love them. <laughs> this one is called Ar- Araki Booty Royal Phobia. And this is the fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. Okay. Omphalophobia is the fear of, bo- of belly buttons. Yeah, it depends what it looks like. Sometimes people with belly buttons are just. Like, I don't. Like, say, like, you see, like, in the movies, and you see super people, like, walking through a swamp or something, so they're walking through a body of water, like, maybe, like, halfway up to their waist, and you don't know what's underneath there. I ain't fucking with all that. Like, I, I ain't fucking with all that. That is, that's probably one of the worst things. I, could, I ain't on all that. I, I'm not fucking with that. I don't know what's in there. If it was in real life, I don't know what I'd do, because I ain't fucking with that at all, at all, at all. How about claustrophobia? I'm not really claustrophobic. I, I could, it could get. I could just breathe through it though. I can. I can be. Back in yeah. Back in primary school, there was like an excursion that the year sixes or year fives were allowed to go on, like Kent Hill or I can't remember the other one, <clears throat> where they would go into the wilderness or the woods or whatever, and then you can go through rock mountain faces and stuff and it was small 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 and you have to basically wiggle 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 it's too and close y- yeah because <laughs> you have to close your eyes man what to get and through in that yeah you gotta close your eyes that maybe I do have a phobia just imagine a whole set of people pile on top of you mm. and mm. you want to move right yeah, you can't but you can't and obviously you have to try and still yourself but when you realize or you believe that nobody's coming for a long time, that's when it is you start panicking and you can't move. Ugh, that's scary. Yeah. Mine might be the because I don't like to see what I can't see and stuff like that. Mine might be that, like I said, that that wolf thing. I wouldn't I think I don't know if I'd actually even engage in that. If it was life or death, I'd be pissed because I'm saying I don't want to really, said I'm dying then. <laughs> I really don't want to do this. And how about it could be anything in there? Deep ocean. I'm cool it, what being in the deep ocean. Yeah. I haven't gone on like a cruise or anything before, but obviously the way my mind works. Huh? Have you ever jumped off a boat? Yeah, of course. Yeah, the... But you can't see what's on, underneath there. What? This because the, the water's clear. I can swim I swim with I swim with fishes and shit like that. Yeah, I'm talking about the water that isn't clear. Oof. Uh. The, the the darkness. I don't I wouldn't do it at night time. I've not even talked yeah. about nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you do it at daytime? Probably, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind jumping in water. And again, like, this sw- swamp and muddy stuff feels different. And, cause I, and I know what's in the ocean. It's like what you're saying, going on a cruise and being out in the middle of nowhere in a big body of water and looking left, right, and, ev- and just, just water. water. I don't like that, but I could do it because to me, it's the same as being up in a plane. Mm. It's the same shit. Mm. Furthermore, mm. I've got probably more chance on the, in the boat because I can swim. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So The guy's from Titanic. Because yeah. I actually like, I I don't have a fear of flying, but I actually don't, like flying, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, I, yeah, like, I don't like flying. But when every I'm time I'm flying, I'm very much aware that, that I'm flying, that I'm in the sky yeah. without a parachute. And, and I'm always praying there's no emergency landing because I don't like water. Yeah, and I'm I, and I could be cooked at any minute. Like I'm all I'm constantly aware of it. Yeah, the whole same. flight, the longer the flight, the more I'm aware of it. Same. Obviously, I just use logic that flights happen all the time and everybody's all right. Cars crash more than planes. Mm. These people working there do this every day, so chances are it's gonna be all right. So then, and you just put on a movie order some more red wine mm. and just cut through you get me but yeah. I don't I don't actually like the idea of flying yeah. just as much as I probably wouldn't like the idea of going I want to go on a cruise but like you're saying just being out just out there just out there is like yeah um, what's it tough. there's another one called ablutophobia and that's the fear of bathing or washing I have my thoughts on that I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna I don't want to be insensitive mm. what's I don't like What's the word called where there's nothing there? Like when things are like remote things, remote places. Yeah. The thought of just being somewhere, like or being like far. In a desert. Huh? Like being in a desert. In a desert or something like that. Or just like a thing. I don't like that. Just being like remote things and just not being nowhere. Mm. Like being far from home and shit and just being alone and that or whatever. That's that the thought of that is not 
It's not really nice. Oh my gosh, listen to this one, yeah. This is called, this phobia is called Hippopotamonus Trusquipt Daliphobia. Okay. And it's the fear of long words. Oh, it's going to have to do with hippopotamus? No. Okay. And it says, yes, ironically, this phobia is named after, it's a long ass word. So you can't even tell people what, you know, kind of like, anyway. Have you seen arachnophobia? What's that? A movie? Yeah. Maybe. Old school movie where, they, where the spiders, the, the, the yeah. strangers just got the spiders in their head to be in the basement and Maybe. it takes over the yard. That probably gave more people a, a fear of spiders mm. than actually people had it. Yeah. That film was mad. Arachnophobia is brazy. Um, some are scared of seaweed. Okay. I don't like funny textures, man. I don't, yeah, I don't like to eat funny textures though. Yeah, I don't like funny textures. I don't. This yeah. one is funny though. Papaphobia. It's the fear of the Pope. That's a good fear. I think 100%. it should be fear. <laughs> we should all have that free. fear. Bro. Yeah, that's healthy, love. Don't worry about that. You ain't got to work on that. All right, then. Yeah. Get rid of fears, man. Fight your fears. No. Oh, sorry. That was, I, don't sorry believe I, in, Greg, I, don't, I don't believe in fighting your fears, you know. <laughs> I think he should, I think I'm not gonna lie, I think he should. I think you should face no, your fears head on and, no, and conquer think, them. You should face your fears head on and conquer them. People can be insensitive people with phobias. One time someone was very insensitive about a phobia I had, and I just thought mm, a I don't fear like is not you. A phobia. It's not it's not the same. What? Not the same. So you can have phobias and him saying um Fight uh, your fear. Fight your fear. I think it's different than fight your phobia. Yeah, but phobia is still kind of a fear though. Yes. But when you say that, though, do you mean fight your phobias or fight your fears? He means phobia. He means phobias. I mean all of them, man. Like, yeah. Surely you can't mean phobias. He it's does. Rational. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to say. So if someone's irra- I'd like people to be rational. So I'd want you to. I'd want to try and talk you through it and get you to the point where you can realize you're being stupid. Uh, by you See? basically. You're being stupid. Judging. Introducing, yeah, hundred percent. Mm. Introducing mice to your mum one by one. Maybe you start with fried rice, fried mice first. Ew. No, because you know what it is. I don't. I'm not like again. I'm not scared of them. I don't want to see them, and I, like I don't want them around me. So I ain't bringing no rat, no mice. But I'm not touching that. I don't want nothing to do no mice. Like, so you, you know just wanted to fight her phobia just on her own without help from you. No, you just don't need to see rat mice. But watch, your, it's on the telly. Stop being stupid. Like, see, shut up, man. Like, I it's don't not like quite, that. What's the thing he's gonna do? Jump out the TV. Stop your foolishness. Like, fair. Yes, you don't like mice. All right, cool. If one was in the room with us now, I'd really, I'd understand. Stop your why foolishness. Why you jump out your skin? Stop your foolishness. No, I'm just saying I get it. But if it's on the telly, that like, what are you doing? Like, come on, man. The same way you see it, to be honest, people are going to say it's a false equivalency. In my mind, that's foolishness. Like, you're acting, you can't even function because it's on the telly. I think what I would have forgotten. Stop that, your man. foolishness. I, I hate that, man. Of course, man. of course. I've, like, you should be judging people I, I, I've for their had phobias. that done to me and I just, it was so mean and I was just like, oh. Yeah, forced them to just. It, was, it wasn't see, nice. It's nothing. I just screaming, ah, and they have a heart attack. <laughs> Cardiac arrest. You know I was, re- I was really upset your, when someone did that to me, you know. Like, yeah, I was man. really upset because it's just like, like it, it's it, it's irrational. You're not meant to understand it. When you can't apply logic to it because it's not a logical, like, phobias are not logical. Yeah. That was never going to work out, was it? No. 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 That was not nice. Anyway. Oh. Is that our phone or your per- personal phone? Mine. Your personal phone? Yeah. Okay, let's get into headlines then. Right, this is about Elon Musk, honeys. So Elon Musk, Musk's ex, which is obviously Twitter, is a hub. <laughs> <laughs> he looks. I was gonna say he looks funny, but anyway, that's not nice. He's how he is. Um, Elon Musk's ex is a hub for Nazi support and pro- propaganda, with paid subscribers sharing speeches by Adolf Hitler or content praising his genocidal regime. NBC News found that at least 150 paid premium subscriber X accounts and thousands of unpaid accounts have posted or amplified pro-Nazi content on X in recent months, often in apparent violation of X's rules. The paid accounts posting the content all cons- consistently posted anti-Semitic or pro-Nazi material. The pro-Nazi content is not confined to the fringes of the platform. During one seven-day period in March, seven of the most widely shared pro-Nazi posts on X basically gathered 
4.5 views in total. 4.5 million <laughs> views in total. Sorry, that's a big difference. Um, the findings are the latest evidence of a flourishing Nazi network on X under Musk's ownership. Previous investigations by news organizations and anti-hate watchdogs have documented many examples of anti-Semitism, white supremacy, and support for Nazism on X. And our next one is still about that kind of stuff. So Meta's Nick Clegg makes pitch for virtual reality in the classroom. Why read about the International Space Station when you can board a virtual replica of NASA's giant floating laboratory? That's what Meta is hoping kids will do at schools around the country as it pitches its virtual reality headset to teachers. I want to get one of those. They look so lit, but I want to do it for games. Oh, the um, VR thing? Yeah. I got one. They look so lit. They're fun. I can't tell you the last time I used it, but it was all right. It looks so fun. But it lasted. What? It was fun while it lasted. I can't tell you the last time I used it, but... Mm. Mm. All right, so later this year, Meta will launch an educational version of its Meta Quest goggles with apps and controls aimed at classrooms. Teachers will be able to manage multiple devices at once, saving time and allowing students to jump into virtual lessons straight away. Meta's Nick Clegg explained in a blog post. The product's name and features will be announced in coming months, despite allowing children as young as 10 to use its headsets. Meta says the educational version will be limited to students age 13 and over. Mr. Clegg also assured schools and parents that kids would be protected in virtual settings with robust safety controls. Sorry. This is not going to be used in the classroom unless teachers feel they have complete visibility and control of what's going on, the former deputy Bright British Prime Minister told Sky News. When did Nick Clegg start working for Meta? Because I would say Nick Clegg, and I think that name sounds like... Uh, Ex Prime Minister. Anyway, our last headline in the segment: um, Almost ten thousand children failed to get a place at their first choice primary schools despite a drop in applications, partly caused by families fleeing London. New figures reveal: Overall, eighty nine percent of sh- of parents who applied for their children to start in a reception class in September were allocated their top preference school. This is an increase of zero point six percent from last year's figures, but at the same time, the number of applicants Applications dropped by 2.2%. Experts said the fall in applications was caused by the falling birth rate and families leaving London due to Brexit, the pandemic and the cost of living crisis. Despite there being fewer children needing school places, Tuesday's figures show there was still heavy demand for the most popular schools, which remain oversubscribed. It's time to pay. Time to pay. Time to pay some bills. Let's get into Word on Road. Me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. The order I just put in, somebody wants me to increase it. Oh, okay. By giving me a discount. Oh, nice. Mm. All right. So, Thames has announced she's got an album coming. I'm really I'm looking forward to this. Me too. Love Thames, man. Her album's going to be called Born in the Wild. She really can't sing, though, isn't it? She really can't. Thames, you're talking about? Yeah. I see some videos going around. She's looked good, man, but... Singing wasn't live thing. Really? Wasn't wasn't giving. Given what? Wasn't giving singer. Because she wasn't. She, she, she was never given Mariah Carey. Nah, that was or never. Whitney. That was never a story. She, she's got like a very unique kind of raspy sound going on. Wasn't wasn't that coming through? Nah, it might, I was just watching, thinking if you weren't so buff, I would have turned this video off. <laughs> Fair. Are you saying that she doesn't do live sound well? Yeah. Okay. But I so she's, got... a, she's a studio singer, you mean? Maybe, yeah, because she sounds cool on the tracks. She sounds very good on the tracks. But I've just only got one reference. Maybe that was a bad night. Maybe that was a bad night because I ain't seen her live. So okay. I don't know. But yeah, sorry. Cool. As you were. Mm, okay. So she's got, um. so she said, she tweeted saying, Born in the Wild. There's a whole trailer for it as well. It looks very nice. It says, Born in the Wild, the album, May 2024. So that's next month. That'd be really cool. Let me see if there's a date online, actually. Sorry, people. Because, you know, on Apple and them, they will put up a date for your album. No, well, there isn't. Stacey said it's all lies. She was there and she sounds exactly like her music. That means that she sounds weavy then. So what? She's, what's, what was all lies? The video that what my ears heard. They, sure. they edited it. So you're going to leave your ears over the over tracks? Some, over somebody else's ears, <laughs> yes. I believe, I'm going to believe my own ears over Stacey's ears. 
Yeah. But since she, she was there to be fair, she said, you watching the video. It didn't translate my video. Maybe the person had the, the finger covering the mic. The problem with that is I've watched videos before where I've heard people sound amazing. So what are we doing here? Mm. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. You know who Thames is, right? The singer? Yeah. You've, you've sang along to a lot of tracks before. Yeah. I like Thames. Oh, okay. I like Thames. Oh, that's okay. So him singing along ain't got nothing to do with anything. No, he's suggesting that she can't sing. What, live? live. It's yeah. different. There's bare people that can't sing live that ain't that good live. Like Rihanna? Donald Jones, I see him. Well, I don't know if that was Donald a bad Jones. day. Donald Jones? Donald Jones. I don't know if that was a bad Donald day. Jones is just a studio singer? I don't know if it was a bad day, but I see some. I see Donald Jones having an absolute horror show live one time. Actually, I heard he wanted. I heard he redeemed himself, maybe as it was. But yeah, I mean, I've seen people that we think are good singers that don't really do good live. Sometimes they're not the best like singers who? in the world. I just gave you one. You didn't because you said. It was a bad <laughs> day. Give me another one. Um, who sounds decent but don't really sing that well live? Um. Ah, I'm not calling his name actually, but yeah, they they, they exist. <laughs> they exist. He's... I won't push this because I have to go. Go on. Oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. So there's that. Donald Glover. Um, apparently he and Kid Cudi like had some kind of situation. Someone said this is the this is the Drake and Kendrick beef of the liberal arts. <laughs> <laughs> People are so funny online, you know. But anyway, um, so a while ago, a fan tweeted saying, saying to Kid Cudi at the time, you and Gambino got to work on something, whether it's TV, movies or music, we'd love to see slash hear it. Kid Cudi responded saying, I'm cool. So anyways, um, this was two months ago. Donald Glover was then on Instagram Live yesterday previewing some new music and all that kind of stuff by his childish Gambino um, you know, self. And then he, and then someone brought up the, the Kid Cudi stuff and like, are you guys cool? What's tea? And he said, Kid Cudi, if you got a problem, I'm not here for the beef. Just talk to me because it's like, we don't have to agree on everything, but we also don't have to, we don't have to be like, when I see you, we have to kill, we have to want to kill each other. He goes on to say that life is short. Um. So yeah. So we'll see what happens from that. Mm. Um. There's not really, I don't think he even knows why I don't think he knows why Kid Cudi might not like him. Mm. But he responded to it and it's news. And so I'm telling you, and that's that. What else is there? Sorry, I have to go between screens. It's about... Oh, basically, Raven Simone, as in Raven Simone, Raven Baxter, Raven. She's got a wife, right? Her wife is white. But basically, she was on, she was on a podcast or a show, this lovely other black girl's show. Um, her name is... Okay, never mind. I can't remember her name now. But anyways, on the show, and the girl was basically talking about like, they were talking about Cheetah Girls and she was singing Cheetah Girls, a Cheetah Girls song. Raven Simone was on Cheetah Girls with Disney Channel was the whole thing. Raven is a whole movement. But anyway, people were basically cooking her wife and saying that her wife is a, is a hater. And people were basically saying how you shouldn't be with people that essentially don't support or know what you do. Because they were saying how there's been a lot of interviews where Raven's wife has made it clear that she doesn't know, she, she doesn't know about what Raven has done. She doesn't know her projects and all that kind of stuff. And even though she's a legend, she doesn't have a clue about these things. So they were singing the interview on Raven and were singing back to back. There's even a time where Raven was like, I don't, I don't remember how the song starts. And the girl knew and it was so very wholesome. And her girlfriend's just there like, oh, this is so nice. So she was getting cooked online. I don't know. I didn't think it was, I don't know about people getting cooked like that, you know? I don't know, man. Because I feel like with certain celebrities that like, you don't know what people are like. What if Raven's looking online thinking, like some people internalize stuff. So then she might start looking online thinking, yeah, you know what? My wife really is a hater. But she might be one of those people that is like, my relationship is wonderful. And I don't need my partner to know all my stuff. Would you want your partner to know all your songs? Songs? Yeah. Mm, maybe not all of them. Would you want them to know something? Well, she doesn't know any of them. Yeah. Um, no, she might not need to. It depends if she's, not, if she's not into all that, then what's it's the matter? Because yeah. I, think, I think that's fair. I feel like your partner can know that you're talented and you're great at what you do. Without knowing word for word, bar for bar, everything. So I don't know, man. I, I, I didn't think it was nice for the wife to get cooked. But yeah, the cooking was, she's getting cooked. Terrible. Um, Alison Hammond has shared a picture with her new boyfriend, which is really cute. Because I, I love, I'm a lover of love. So Alison is 49. And her boyfriend, he's a model. 
and a dancer. His name is David Putman. And he's allegedly about, well, not allegedly, well, we're speculating that he's about 20 years younger than her. Is that a bad thing? If he was 20 years younger, he's 29, she's 49. Is what it is, isn't it? But yeah, apparently they're very, very lovely together and da 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 da. It's a cute relationship. This is what they look like. He looks like a French boy. Yeah, he looks French. <laughs> but yeah, um, wonderful, wonderful scenes. Love that for her. She did talk about being in a relationship, kind of like hinting about being in a relationship and stuff last year. So it's nice to see that they're still going, going strong and stuff, which is cute. Um, oh, he's from Libya. His dad is from Libya. His dad is Libya. He's from Libya and he married a Russian woman. So I guess he's mixed race. Um, what else is there? But yeah, people that are close to Alison are saying that she's very happy and you know she's had a lot of situations with love and stuff so she's in a in a really really good place with a relationship and just is flourishing in that man so big up Alison and was it peter no it's david <laughs> mm-hmm. ah, anyway speaking of relationships i think this is what's next hold on yes so Kyle Walker um and his wife Annie Kilner have welcomed their fourth child together, which is very, very lovely. Obviously, he's been involved in quite a few scandals recently. He was cheating on his wife. I think this, the um, mistress is pregnant. Yeah, I believe she's pregnant. Yep, she's pregnant, I think. I believe so, allegedly. Um, so he's been in a lot of scandal, but congratulations to them. They've got their um, their fourth child together now, which is cute. Um, but speaking of cheating as well, the video has been getting cooked online because yet again, Allegedly, there's a new mistress. So basically, this lady posted a picture of her and Davido, right? And in the picture, he's standing behind her and he's got his hand like around her neck. Do you take pictures of that with your female friends? Mm-hmm. You've never been in charges, you know? <laughs> never. You're not even trying. I don't know, man. The picture was, I don't know. I don't know. No man of mine can be taking a picture with a woman in such a state. Anyway, people were they're basically like, oh my gosh, who's this? Da, 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 da. And she was like, oh no, that's, she's like, oh, that's my homeboy. So, and this is, this is why I don't agree with her, because I feel like it's a bit much. You told people that they were speculating, they were doing too much, and that's your homeboy. Next thing, she posts a video of Davido crying. <laughs> Talk about he's on his knees and begging her and whatnot. So she was like, oh, what, this guy, like, this is who, she, she was basically like, this is who you guys think I like. This man that's here, just weak in her knees, literally weak in her knees, crying on the floor. This is who you think I like. And I just felt like that was our order. You know, we're not going to shame men for crying. We need more men to cry. Because them not crying is why they anyway. I digress. Mm-hmm. So there was that, and then basically, then she then went on to explain the situation with it, which is funny because first of all, you said I was your homeboy, but then now you're coming to tell us, give us a speech about you didn't think. Basically, she said what all the other alleged girlfriends have said. Davido is married, by the way. He's, he's a whole married man. But what the other girls have said, which is that they never knew he was married. She says she's known him since like 20 something back in the day. And she says she styled him. She says she's based in Atlanta. Whenever he comes to Atlanta, she sort of like his, um, like I guess appearances here and there, whatever else. Um, she also is, she styles him sometimes as well. And yeah, she basically said that she um, never knew he was married. Is his marriage public? Yes, but, oh. but then <clears throat> people are, do, this is the thing. People are moving as though it's only public in Nigeria. But Davido is not just a Nigerian artist. He's Nigerian that's gone global. So, one Google search will let you know this man is married. Yeah, I just she, believe they know. If she knew that he was an entertainer, he would. she would have Googled him anyway. And she would have exactly. found out that he was married. And she knows he's an entertainer because she styles him. Yeah. So all these women that keep coming with... Um, I have a theory. I have a theory that some of, sometimes... People know something, but it's like when when you know when you know the truth now, it's like you, you you're more convicted about doing wrong. Mm. So people just try not to find out things they should find out. People do that in all in different ways, but I feel like when it comes to messing with men, some women know that there's a chance this guy has a girlfriend or has a wife or something, and then you choose not to ask and not to find out because you think it absolves you of whatever consequences. No, it doesn't. Depending on what kind of wife you're dealing with, no, it doesn't. But anyway, that's what's going on in Davido's um, front. Well, yeah, on his front, front lawn. I don't know. It, it's just always one thing or the other with Davido and another woman and da 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 And it's just, 
no comment at this point. There's literally, I have nothing else to say. Like, I've reported on the videos, on the alleged mis messages for the past few months regularly. Like, it's enough now. And at this point as well, the girls, stop coming out. Everyone knows now. Everyone knows. Stop it. Like, even if you say you don't think he's married, at some point you would have seen him in the blogs for being with another girl. No one cares anymore. I think this might be the last time I report about a, a mistress. Unless it's something like crazy juicy. I'm done. This is silly. We all know his situation. Just stop it. Um, and then lastly, what else is there? Hold on. What is it? Oh, this is good news. So I talked about, I think a couple of weeks ago, I said about Real, House, Real Housewives of Potomac and a girl called Candice Dillard Bassett was, is on the show. I don't like her. Never liked her. I think she's very, very toxic. I don't like her and her mum. Her mum is very toxic as well. She She's the reason why I, stopped, I actually stopped watching Potomac after Monique beat her, beat her up that time. I don't support violence, but that was well-deserved. That was a well-deserved ass whooping. She deserved that. Anyway, that being said, um, she did leave the show, which I thought, oh, good. About time. I wish she left when I was watching it, but she left it nonetheless. But she announced she's pregnant. And actually, this is why I, I'm not biased, because I don't like her, but I'm very, very happy for her. I'm very happy she's pregnant. And I'm also happy that she left the show, because I believe she deserves a stress-free pregnancy. There's a there's, on that on Potomac. There's a bit of colorism allegations and stuff like that, and that is very much there. But she tends to have she, yeah, just like you will with housewives. There has to be someone who something is something like some kind of storyline about something else. So I rate the fact I respect the fact that she's pregnant and she's left the show and she's just gonna spend time away from cameras enjoying her pregnancy. We married for like maybe a few years now. Maybe six, maybe more, maybe probably about six years now. So I think it's nice that she's taking time away to enjoy her pregnancy. So she posted a video on her Instagram, which looks very, very nice. Sweet little production where she's there. Kind of like, right, she's a music artist as well. But I don't listen to music, of course not. But um, we're just kind of doing like a little poem thing to her daughter. Maybe not a daughter, maybe a child. And then um, she picks up a package from outside her door and it's like baby stuff and it's really cute. And her and her husband are there like... It's really, it's really, really cute. Very, very cute um, content here for us. So congratulations to Candice and her husband, Chris. Very beautiful couple as well. Very beautiful. He looks like his age a little bit though. I think last season was hard on him. I tried to accuse him of some things. But anyways, I'm happy for her. I think it'd be good for her to experience that pregnancy and stuff outside of the show. Um, but that's it. That's all there is today. I feel Lovely. so dizzy. Thank you. Are we got one on Wednesday? You gotta eat. No. All right, let's get into our last headline. All right, man. It's going off in Dubai. All right. So heavy rain has battered some Gulf states, causing flash flooding, flooding across the region and leading to flights to the world's busiest international airport being diverted. <laughs> Dubai airport said operations were temporarily diverted, though they have they have since restarted. In a statement, um, the airport said inbound flights due to arrive on Tuesday evening had been diverted due to the continued exceptional weather event currently being experienced in the UAE. Departures would continue to operate, it added. Flights later restarted after an interruption of about two hours. The Gulf region is usually known for hot and dry weather, though heavy rains causing floodings have also occurred with greater regularity in recent years. And our last, uh, sorry, our next headline, um, this is about a Muslim student loses prayer ban challenge. I remember this. So a Muslim student at a London school has lost a high court challenge against his ban on prayer rituals. I don't think I'm familiar with this. We talked about this a while ago. Michaela's school is in Wembley was taken to court over the policy, which the student argued was discriminatory. I think we talked about this on Word and Road. No, not Word and Road. What's that thing called? Typical of the day. So the non-faith state school, state secondary school, previously told the high court that allowing prayer risked undermining inclusion among students. School founder and head teacher Catherine Bibal Singh said the ruling was a victory for all schools in an 83 page imagine going to court yeah about something like this and you know like when you have outside the press and they're asking for whatever and you've lost the case but then you hear the person you were against talking about this to win for everybody mm. I throw the mic at your head you know mm. shut up so cheeky they're doing too much though I get it like obviously people I went to school I went I went to secondary school I've done the whole five years I went to school with bare Muslims I didn't see no one trying to pray anything school's for school and it wasn't it didn't bother nobody Everybody done their thing. Maybe they went devout Muslims. 
No, they was. There was. Yeah, but I only went to pray five, five times a day. Yeah, but you're in school. What do you want to do? So you're not in Muslim school. You're not in a Muslim country. You're in a Christian country. You're in school. Yeah, but they would fast it when they're in school. Yeah, that's cool. That's a choice that they can take. Anybody can fast in school. But what? So what if your what if your prayer time comes up during lessons? I'm supposed to let you out to go and think. What are you talking about? There's a curriculum I have got to deliver here. Yeah. And again, <laughs> there's I went to school. You're with... such a strict teacher, you know. Huh? <laughs> what's there's a curriculum I've got to deliver here? No, I went to school with bare Muslims, and that there wasn't it wasn't an issue. It can't wasn't an issue comparing. back then. Can't be comparing. It. If if they were afforded the ability to have a prayer room. They would have been praying, but that's what I'm trying to say. They don't need a prayer room. Then they, 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 no that, one didn't complain. There wasn't no complaints. There wasn't no pickets it, outside the school no, about can we get a it prayer room. It wasn't make, a conversation. What it's doesn't make sense. That's I like do. Pickets. Just everybody, <laughs> just, just this woke culture. Everybody's chat shit. Everyone wants to have a problem about things that are not a problem. Bear of us went to school with Muslim people, and this wasn't a problem. It was yeah, never how a do problem. You know, did you speak to the Muslim people? What, 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 what ah, was the problem for them? Right, everybody pretend. It's fine. No, but did you speak? No, I get it. It's no wait, 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 wait. Get it. No, 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 no. Don't start getting into plain logic. No, wait, wait. It's a problem now in 2024. Yes, because everybody wants to be everybody's idiots and wants to chat shit about every last thing but wait for it though you're not a Muslim man are you? no okay how do you know that it wasn't a problem for the Muslim students? Because I got Muslim brethren never once talked to me about praying. To be honest, born they, not as convert, born Muslim. Now? What? Do they yes, pray now? they pray. They pray. What are you talking about? Yes, as in religiously. <laughs> yes, and if did you ask them? If they it's that they had the opportunity to do that, yes, they would have done it. 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 Yes, they would have Okay, cool. So why didn't they take them to, to, to court back then then? To court? <laughs> yeah, why didn't, why didn't they go to court for their rights back then then if everybody had a problem with it? You know, I'm making stuff up. Anyway, it's cool. Read the story. Let's go. Cool. Because this is crazy to me. It's like it's like you saying <laughs> back in the day um, that homosexuals wanted to do a particular thing. Um, no, back in the day they didn't want to do a particular thing. And now they want to do a particular thing. And I'm like, oh my goodness. The gays back in the day. How? You're complaining about this. No, the gay. what gays... They give, want all of the stuff. Give me an example. Being allowed to be gay. You was always allowed to be gay in England. No, mm. no, no. Sir. So in my, no, in my no, lifetime. No, no. It's never been, I ain't been that, there, it's been legal. Go. So you're saying you can't even entertain this conversation because it didn't happen when it is that you were wronged, right? In my lifetime, I don't know. You, you've you, always been allowed to be gay. No, but were gay people ever shamed? Huh? Gay people have been shamed from. Gay people are still shamed now. Exactly. So that's what he's saying. So they were shamed now, they were shamed then. What are you talking so about? Were they, were they really allowed to be gay then? Yes, they were yes. being shamed. I don't, I, don't uh, I really don't understand how it is that you're not get grasping this. I'm not grasping it. So let's just take black people okay. being allowed to not allowed to do certain things, but they 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 can't complain because if they complain, Lynch. That's not. not it's not the same. It's thing. it's false equivalency, right? Yeah. Because you've decided it is. Yeah. Imagine. I believe that if they were given provisions back in the day to pray. Yeah. If they felt as though um, they weren't being judged or ostracized or othered, yeah. they would have been more vocal about having a prayer room and this time. I don't even know if it is that your, the, your same people, their parents may have asked, hey, is there a, a prayer yeah, room available? No I know they, they would have wanted to assemble it as quickly as possible and not basically share all of the, the things about their culture and their religion that other people just hated off the back of it being different. But don't say that just because your brethren didn't complain about this particular thing. It's my brethren, other people. I went to school. I went to school. I've been from primary school. I've been going to my school with Muslims. It wasn't a thing. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not like it's a Muslim school. It's not like it's a Catholic school or a church school, or whatever. Wherever it may be, it is a Christian. Can you country. remember? Can you remember? <laughs> he said church school. <laughs> I'm saying this is a Christian. Can you remember country. all of them having to go to religious studies or going to the church? To um, I can't remember what it, what it was called, but every fortnight we would go to the church. And have a like a, a like session mass. in there, like a not really mass. Oh no, I didn't do that in my school. Okay, well, it didn't. It did in my school, and everybody had to go. Uh, the Muslim kids had to go. Huh? Muslim kids had to go as well. They had to. They, were, they, they had to. I know some. Okay. Some a couple schools, of them. Some asked, schools are. Some schools are church for permission schools. Permission not to go, but they're like, nope, you gotta go. Some schools are <laughs> church schools, like Christian schools or Catholic schools or whatever. So if you're even if you're Muslim, if you go to a Catholic school, that's the school you go. Go. That's well, you, why are you going to the school for if you don't want to partake in what they do. Catholic school. No, they tell you to pray to God. Go sit in church. I think it was a Church of England one, Blackheath Blue Coats. If you go to a Church of England school and there's a rule is that at, a, at this point in time we go to the church, then if you don't want to do that, don't come to this school. But why am I here for the curriculum? No, that, I think whilst we were still there, they started implementing um, uh, a room for Muslims to go and pray. Yeah. But it, it wasn't during the, the lessons. 
Okay. It yeah. was during playtime and this, and then they would go and do it during that. Made time. that sacrifice. Yeah, but now I'm guessing they could do it when the clock says that they should, they should do it. I think the kids are even trying to fight for playtime. I think we brought that up when we had this topic of the day. Mm. Okay. okay. All right. Um. Well. Hold on. Okay, so in the 83-page written judgment dismissing the student's case, Mr. Justice Linden said, the claimant at the very least implied accept, impliedly accepted when she enrolled at the school that she would be subject to restrictions on her ability to manifest her religion. About half the school's roughly 700 students are Muslim. The court previously heard, um, yeah, this. Students are expected to adhere to strict rules, including focusing on teachers extensively, during lessons and remaining silent in corridors, as well as observing restrictions on uniforms. <laughs> 700? That's a Muslim school. What? <laughs> it says roughly 700 students are Muslim in the school. It's half of them. No, no. It's a... Oh, yeah, about half the schools... About half the schools, roughly 700 students are Muslim. So half the school is Muslim. Um, the school is rated as outstanding by Ofsted. In March 2023... Up to 30 students began praying in the school's yard using blazers to kneel on, to kneel on the high school, the high court heard, sorry. P students are not allowed to gather in groups of more than four, including in the schoolyard. So we can't have a friendship with six. You see, you see his hand, his fist? Max is doing this. <laughs> Why, when? You walk karate. <laughs> the I hate the walk karate. Imagine him... Uh, like vomiting, I'm send you seeing all of them take off their blazers and then look to... Uh, no, because I understand how this thing... I understand how this Ah, you woke lot! I understand how this all works. It's all with the corporations and they're just thinking, I'm going to send you a film, um, uh, The War on Kids, and then you see like, all this stuff, all these all these things that we're talking about, they're there for a reason. Film? Huh? You're going to send me a film? <laughs> yeah, it's called well, The War on Kids. I you a film. You're it's like, all right. You got Michael Justin in? I'm not watching it. You watch the war on kids and you understand what these people are doing, what these corporations, what these Fortune 500 companies, these big things, what they're implementing, what they're putting on out into TV and out into things and actually changing society with things that ain't real, but they put them out there. <laughs> Where was you this from? Philly Wire? Nah. Okay, Wire. Do you know, do you know, do you know what's so ironic about this year? The Walker Wright. I don't like the Walker Wright. No, but do you know what's ironic? You're talking about. I don't know what you've got. Mm. What's <laughs> ironic here is that <laughs> you're talking about hating the woke people, yeah, but mm. you sound so woke. <laughs> about, I know, I'm about not woke. Hundred, what they're really doing? What's really happening behind closed no, doors? I'm not woke. I'm just not. I'm just. Nah, I'm just, I'm just uh, unplugged from the matrix. You sound. Uh, uh, he's enough, he's enough. You sound woke as heck. I'm not woke. I'm just unplugged. I'm just unplugged. They would, they would yeah. say they're unplugged. No, but they would say they're woke. They think they think they're unplugged, but they're. they're... Oh, but you're really unplugged. Yeah, ah. that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's giving Spider Man, Spider Man. All right. So the school introduced the ban in the same month due to concerns um, about a culture shift towards segregation between religious groups and intimidation within the group of Muslim students. Sounds a little racist. Um, this judgment supports the right of individual schools, head teachers and school governors to make, <coughs> to make a decision about what is best for their own students. There is no legal requirement for, student, for schools sorry, to allow students a time or place to pray. Well, I, I would say this though there wasn't 700 Muslims in my school so it's a, a bit different I don't know maybe you should take this in into consideration Hello? is that right I, <laughs> them to just bury them. I thought you were basically a Muslim school I thought they were talking about one or two kids in class but all, all that, anyway all I would say is yeah there was you can't tell me they're not proper practicing Muslim music like diminishing people's experience and chatting shit I went to school with Muslim born Muslim people loads of them primary school and secondary school these are kids children they go there to learn it wasn't a thing. If people want to go and pray in their spare time or whatever, in their free time, then they will go and do it and make up on their prayers and whatever. It's not a thing. It wasn't a thing. You get me? Life was better back then because you all wasn't cookie cutter and moaning about shit. But it's all right. Walk karate, man. Go off, man. It's cool out. Are you there? I said go off. He's, he's the only one who's yes. going off. Morning. Who are we speaking to, please? Morning. Omari. Morning, Omari. How are you? I'm good. Are Just wanted sure? to give a bit of context. Yeah, man. Okay. It's just early, isn't it? Fair. <laughs> just want to give give a, give a bit give a bit of context um, as a teacher on this. Oh yeah. And because I think some people are kind of missing the point and why people are vexed at it because so basically it's a free school. So a free school is, and head teachers allowed to basically they it's not linked to the borough, and. 
her whole thing is without going into all the historical and whatever, whatever, Mm -hmm. is that she just wants it run her way. And people just have an issue with the fact that, and like some of the stuff you said about playtime and all those things, Mm -hmm. she wants it run her way. So anything that's against her way, she's going to fight it. And the fact of the matter is, if you're a school as an entity and you go to the high court, there's a strong possibility that you're going to win because you have time and money. And so the issue isn't really, oh, a prayer room, so to speak, because there's loads, a prayer room, literally, you can just make, a. it can be a closet, it can be a classroom, yeah. it can be anything. Yeah. That's not the issue. The issue is that she wants it run her way and anything against that is no. And that's the issue that people have. Yeah, and that's like where it. like, when, and I think people are conflating the two because people assume that school is run a certain way and every school is X, Y, Z and you have to line up, you have to do this. But hers is a free school and she creates what she wants to be her school. So it's not like, oh, it's a pipeline of school to jobs or whatever and they're trying to make people do X, Y, Z. She's making the rules in her school. Mm. And people are against that point where it's like prayer room. That's not, this. listen, there's loads of schools who, uh, uh, the, if they have a certain amount of Muslim children, they say, they'll say, oh, we, we need a prayer room. They literally open up a random classroom at lunchtime. Literally. And let them pray. And that's not, that's very normal. And my, like the school I went to, it wasn't, it was an academy. And uh, most of the kids were Turkish. And so we had a few Muslim children. Yeah. They just used to open up a prayer room at lunchtime. And they used to go and pray. <laughs> So the issue is, it's more than just, oh, we need a prayer room. Oh, no, we're not giving you a prayer room. This is justice for X, Y, Z. She just wants things her way. And that's quite scary as somebody in power who looks after 700 odd children. Mm. It sounds like it because talking about like you don't want, like you don't want a group to start forming. Very, yeah. Do you agree with her? Do you think biased. she's right or wrong? I think I think on the premise, as as someone who works in education, she's wrong because it's not a big issue. I think just because and everything else that has happened in that school in terms of there's been lots of parents and people in the wider community fighting things, she just wants things her way. So if it's not her way, that's it. You're not getting it. So are they not allowed? To, are kids not allowed to just go, if, go to their form room and, at lunchtime or go to a classroom and pray if they wanted to? Why does it have to be called it like? Yeah, they can. You call, you call it a prayer room. It's just the same classroom anyway. So why can't they just go into the classroom and pray if they wanted to? No, like, they, who can stop them? No, but these kids can't because they're doing on the, on the schoolyard where they're allowed to play if they want to play. No, yeah. And yeah, I'm saying you go to a classroom. No, but they're not allowed to do that. They're not trying to do any of that. He just said yes, they are. In this saying, case, yeah. What's no, no, that, that, I'm saying, what's stopping what, kids from going to a classroom at lunchtime or a break time and praying? The kind of head teacher that took them. They to can. Court. He said they can. They can, but the issue, the issue here is that there's a certain amount of Muslim children in the school. So That's you, for real. There's bearing one so class. You, you, have to, you have to consider that, innit? Cool. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I heard that. And that's the issue at hand. And it's more than just like it's things like that where it's like, okay. Why Why is that not allowed? And they won the high court battle based on the fact that, and it, well, it's not a technicality, technicality, but they won on the fact that the parents and children knew that what the school they was going into and the fact that they're saying, oh, you can go to another school in the borough. That's, and that's how they won. That makes sense. You knew what you and said. It's like, it's like Brent not going to go to church. Mm, but did she, did she switch it up whilst they were the, like already there for a long while or was it before they started enrolling? I don't know. But now I'm hearing more information. I'm even more... If, she, if half her students are Muslim, you should... She, she, why not try and cater for them? That's like... That's a, that's, a, that's a lot. Yeah, but your argument was if you already know this, these are the rules, why go to the school, right? Yeah, but the two arguments still stand. Like she's she's running it her way, and she wants to do it her way. I but think she, knows she introduced this after, after the fact. fact. Okay, and that's why there's an uproar. Okay, yeah, she's done that. She's taking the piss. And this school doesn't allow the gathering of more than four st- students at any given time. 
together. So you couldn't have a friendship group of five. Yeah. Well, you got to speed up. Well, they say when more than four people gather, God's there. There's a, there's a lot there's a lot in going into that too in terms of like how it's run. It's two or and a lot of people don't agree with it. What, with the, with the TED teacher? Yeah, and yeah. the way that she... Because like I said, it's a free school. It's not linked to like directly to a borough or... Mm-hmm. She, so she can kind of... However she feels, that's the way she wants to do. And a lot of people kind of disagree with that. But the issue, the key issue at hand is that there's only a certain amount of schools in the borough. And there's only amount of certain outstanding schools in, the, in any borough. And if there's, for example, three in your borough and you want your child to go to an outstanding school. So that idea that, oh, if we know a certain school run a certain way, we don't want our children to go there. But there's only two outstanding schools in your borough. Do you, you don't really have a choice. You don't want your child to go to a substandard school then, just yeah, because it's the closest you're, you're one to you. Back against the wall, but then you just have to conform, innit? Rules is rules. But then that's like you said, what conforming is, is what we don't want. I didn't know about the story in it, so I thought it was. No, Mags doesn't want that because he's against the walk agenda. Yeah, I'm against the walk agenda. And that is definitely. And this is work. I'm part against the walk agenda. The world's going to pot. No one doesn't know it. Like show me the video. Show me the video. There's a war. There's a war on our children. (laughs) I think the (laughs) thing is, you're walking irony. The thing is, I actually believe. Like there is a war not true. I just want to see what video. No, the hundred percent is. He's getting the information from. Yeah. All right, cool. Put in the group chat. Well, the film. And, well, I think. I think people are are they're against school, which is it's interesting. But I think people conflate the two because regardless of what people think, we need people that are educated in society, and education isn't necessarily school. Mm. And people conflate the two, where we need people that are educated, but children need to be educated in school. And the way schools are run, that's a totally different thing to education itself and being educated, but that's where our children go. And we need them there. Mm. Um, I, thank you very much for the call. I like the fact that it is that you were an educator full time. Thanks, um, Mari. I had that to my profile. Yeah, no worries. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> How's it going to your brother? No, I didn't know he was an educator because oh. each time he calls in, like it gives a little bit more in it. So I love that. 100%. I don't think he has a problem getting black. Oh yeah, and just just to add, um, in I'm in Dubai, and there's a lot of like, um, I would say it's a it's very over exaggerated, like the the storms and stuff. Oh, it, the there are storms here a lot. Yeah, and this one has just been like it's worse than the ones that have happened previously, but. Because of the weather here, the water will disappear in about a couple of days. Oh. This is how it goes. Okay. <laughs> like 48 hours isn't a long time? Nah, it could be worse. It could last longer. Could He's just saying, like, you know, don't get don't get your knickers in a twist. Then we are right. But we're glad you're, not, we're glad yeah. to know you're safe. Like, That's good. Do you teach in Dubai? Yeah, man. Oh, okay. Teacher. You probably win because the, the tax. You yeah, don't but... do the tax, you do they? No, they don't. Huh? You keep you keep a lot of money that you you earn in it. That's this this is this conversation being recorded? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for yeah, calling. You, you hear that, Chijoke? <laughs> Chijoke, I can talk about teacher. It's not break time yet. Well, he's in Dubai, okay. Well, thank you, Mari. We appreciate you. Have a great day. Stay safe. Uh, yeah. Your sandwich is about to fall off, fall out of the of the box. I'm about to fall out of this room. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's I'll go, let's go. Out. <laughs> Next two segments are mine, right? Yes. Oh, we'll do this quick, don't we? All right, then. Good. You're moving like a gun toast. Oh, this is cute. What's that? It's a peach drink. Oh, no, that's so that. cute, you know. All right, people, welcome to the reaction. Well, I'll read out the sport headlines. No, you too. I might as well just read them. So, um, Luis Enrique returned to Barcelona to knock his former club out of the Champions League as Kylian Mbappe inspired Paris Saint-Germain to a pulsating 4-1 second leg victory, winning 6-4 on Arrowhead. They fought back from 3-2 down in the first leg 
um, and one nil down on Tuesday night to progress to the final four where they will face Borussia Dortmund for a place in Wembley's final. Barcelona extended their lead on the night when Rafinha converted Lamar's, um cross. But the game turned on referee and Istan Kovac's decision to send off Orozu for a professional foul on Barcola. PSG were ruthless in making their numerical advantage count as they hauled themselves back into the tie through Dembele before half-time. Enrique's side didn't take their foot off the gas upon the restart as Bettina levelled with the contest with a fine strike before a rash challenge from Jao Cancelo in the box allowed Mbappe to put the French club ahead on aggregate. With Barcelona committing players forward in the closing stages, Mbappe stretched PSG's lead after pouncing on a poor clearance from Jules Conde after Mark andre Ter Stegen had saved his initial effort to cap a breathless night at um, Estadio Olimpiaco. Xavi complained bitterly to referee and ended up being shown a red card himself, which did not stop him going back to the pitch at the final whistle to voice his frustrations again at the Romanian official. PSG will now play Dortmund in the semi-finals, having already met them in the group phase of this season's competition. The German team also performed a turnaround in their tie with Atletico Madrid, responding to last week's 2-1 defeat in Spain with a 4-2 win um, in their second leg, resulting in a 5 point aggregate triumph. Was Paris at home yesterday? They weren't. It was away, in it. Mm. Oh, yeah, but it was the um, thing... All right, cool. And obviously, we've got to talk about Dortmund. Dortmund done their thing. Borussia Dortmund beat Athletic Madrid 4-2 on the night um, and 5-4 on aggregate to set up a mouth in Champions League semi-final with Paris Saint-Germain. Trading 2-1 from the first leg. The host needed to score first um, at the Rockin' West Farland Stadium. And that is exactly what they did, taking the lead thanks to Julian Brandt's well-taken 35th fourth-minute strike. Chelsea Loney, Ian Marston doubled Dortmund's lead just five minutes later, after a lovely flowing move, only for Atletico to hit back in the second half as Diego Simeone's um, three half-time changes had an immediate impact. Matt Hummel's own goal, four minutes after the interval, gave the visitors the impetus they needed um, with substitute Carrera pulling them level on the night and ahead on aggregate, just past the hour mark. However, those twin strikes only served to wake the home team up as first Folkrug's wonderful glancing header Brought them level again on aggregate before an equally eye-catching finish from Sabitza saw them progress. And that is all our sports news and our headlines. Tonight, we've got Man City versus Real Madrid and Arsenal versus Bayern. Second legs. Um, we can just we could talk about this tomorrow, but quick predictions, Brent? Yeah, we could predict it tomorrow. <laughs> 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 All right, tomorrow we hear our predictions. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how that went. Hundred percent. All right, it's gonna well, be a two-one situation. Two-one to who? Gone. I don't think Arsenal are gonna win. All right, then you heard it. You heard it here first. All right, it's no done at a segment today. So let's get into our actual people. <laughs> All right, people. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. I'm really excited for tomorrow's show. Yeah. I'm really excited. I'm just very excited. Um, so, yeah. And I feel like we can talk more free and then after tomorrow. Yes, we as can. well. Yeah. I mean, really good. We're so good at keeping secrets in this room. Love yes. it for us. All right, people. So, definitely be here tomorrow. It's not a joke. It's not a game. It's not a drill. <laughs> be here tomorrow. Everyone's here tomorrow. Are you, are you definitely in? 100%. I haven't said to Brent, I said, if, I, if I'm not here tomorrow, it's because I'm resting up so I can be here for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, take the things, yeah, you can fill up. Take the things out first and then you can, yeah, you might as well take those out and then put that in there. I'll throw it outside. But yeah, guys, um, so be here tomorrow. Thank you for watching us today. We appreciate it. Big up our community every single time. You guys are honestly amazing. I know that, you know, we tussle sometimes and we disagree and everything, but we really do appreciate you guys tuning in every single morning. Every single morning. And showing up and like being in the comments and just messaging us outside of the show as well. Like, none of them message me outside the show. Sorry. I speak to Vaughn sometimes on Twitter. Vaughn's cool. But the rest of y'all. Is that because you're not checking though? Huh? Is that because you're not checking? No, I ain't saying nothing to me. No one got nothing to say to me. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're so strict. Well, we got people that message me outside. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, don't forget you can follow us on our social media platforms the day after TNB on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and on Discord. Um, yeah, you're not gonna mention anything on Discord, no? Because actually, no, no, no. Never mind. Silly thoughts. Um, yeah, if you want to inquire about the show, feature on the show, send your send your dilemmas in the num- no. The email address is the day after at the new dot com. Don't forget, be here tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.